Step inside this quaint building on the hill and you can see an exhibit rich with history, tradition, and then some hops, malt, and barley. I'm talking, of course, about the history of beer in Boulder. The Boulder History Museum's newest display, titled Beer, Boulder's History on Tap, brings Boulder's past of pilsners, its story of stouts, its account of ales, to life. It starts in the wake of Prohibition when brewing was forced underground. We wanted to bring in that early history and show that beer was not just becoming popular as a local brewery industry in the last 10 years, but that originally that is actually how beer was started in the 1800s. But President Jimmy Carter's legalization of home brewing in the late 1970s, along with beer lovers growing tired of only having light American lagers, allowed the craft industry to bloom. You had people who had traveled internationally and realized when they had gone to Europe, there's all these other beers out there, but they weren't getting them in the US. And so they start home brewing themselves to start getting variety. Boulder Beer Company was founded in 1979, making it the longest running microbrewery in the US. And many others followed suit, like Avery, Twisted Pine, and Upslope, just to name a few of the 139 licensed Colorado craft breweries, second most of any state in the country. Boulder's craft brewery has come a long way since the late 70s, so much in fact that you could say that it's a staple of Boulder now. But despite the competition between all these different breweries in the area, they like to think of each other more like neighbors. Boulder Beer is a fantastic company, just like all the other breweries in this, uh, in this town. Uh, there's a kinship. The brewers are all very supportive of one another, and they're very excited just to have the vast variety of beer that's now available in Boulder County. The camaraderie is just amazing between them. So what causes craft breweries to keep popping up and to keep coming out with new ideas and new beers? Boulder Beer Company's Dan Weitz says it's the essence of the Wild West. Boulder Beer and the city of Boulder have an independent spirit. We do things the way we want to do them. We always kind of lead the way and make it up as we go along. And that attitude is what drives Boulder Beer's innovation today. Our mission statement is to craft great beer in a great workplace for the enjoyment of our customers and ourselves. So what that boils down to is we make beer that we want to drink. So next time you throw back a cold one, you might have a better understanding of the hard work, the tradition, the meaning. I love beer. I love drinking beer. And cheers. That goes into each glass. Adam Lucas, News Team Boulder.